Hello, we discover enthusiasts. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Wherever you are, whatever you're doing. I hope you're having a fantastic day. What is deduplication? Before we answer what, let's understand why do we need deduplication? The answer to the why can be found in the e-discovery reference model. The EDRM model that was created by Jot Socha and Tom Glibman in 2005 has helped many professionals to conceptualize different phases involved in the e-discovery process. The left side of the model showcases how broad categories of data are managed, identified, preserved and collected, whereas the right side focuses on how to extract and review the relevant information that is required for the purpose of litigation. The model also highlights how the volume of the data and the relevancy of the data changes as we move through the phases from left to right side of the model. If you look close enough, you can see that the volume of the data goes down and the relevancy of the data goes up. And this is not a behavior pattern. This is the ultimate goal of each and every phase of e-discovery process. We need to find the needle hidden in the haystack. When we are trying to find the truth hidden in the noise, the best way to get closer to the truth is to eliminate the noise. The noise is gradually eliminated at each stage. During collection, we suppress the irrelevant data sources. During processing, we suppress junk and redundant data. During review, we suppress not relevant documents. At the end, we arrive at the truth to produce. And this process of reducing data volumes by eliminating noise or irrelevant data is called culling. One of the popular and most effective culling techniques to reduce the data volumes is deduplication. I know, I told you a long story to get to the point. Without any further delay, let's get to the point. What is deduplication? It is a culling technique to reduce data volumes by eliminating noise. And the noise here is redundant content. In other words, it is a process of identifying multiple copies of a given document. Then suppress all the duplicate copies and only retain one copy. That is it. That is what deduplication is. So simple, isn't it? But is it so simple to implement it? In order to implement deduplication, the first step is to identify duplicate copies of a given document. But how do we know if two documents are identical to each other? Let's pause there. We'll answer that question and also deep dive more into the implementation of deduplication in our next video. Until then, Please take care, stay healthy, signing off, yours truly.